Hey y'all, I am back. I know it's been a little bit. Hopefully I will start making more videos. I, yeah, lately I've had a lot of thoughts come to mind where I'm thinking, hey, I need to share this with people. So that's what I'm doing today. So for today's story time, we are going to be talking about one thing that completely changed that completely changed my life for the better. I would say that this one thing has set my life on a completely new trajectory. I've been learning and growing so much, but it all started with this one thing. So stay tuned and I will tell you what that one thing is. And I hope you learn from this. And I hope that you take this one thing that worked for me and at least give it a shot and see if it changes your life as well, because I'm 100% sure that it will. Great. Like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's do this. Okay, so about, I'm gonna say a year and a half ago, it's probably a bit less, but right around a year and a half ago, I had a breakup. Um, it was a breakup with, it was, the strongest relationship that I've ever had. We lived together and we had a dog together. So that breakup, it was hard, you know, that that's just the way it is. So after the breakup, I put a lot of time and energy into working on my house and woodworking and building my back patio. And while building that back patio, like I had these timelines in my head, I need to get it done by this time. And I remember, I had been working on it like crazy. I had not even really, I don't know if I ate anything that day. And I was rushing to Home Depot to pick up more bricks. And I remember on that car ride, it hit me like, why are you going to Home Depot to pick up these bricks when you haven't ate today and you're very hungry? You know, it was kind of crazy. Like that had never... I'm sure I had been doing stuff like this in the past, you know, overworking myself, but it never really occurred to me to stop and think, hey, why don't you treat yourself kindly and go get some food instead of going to Home Depot? That, that one moment is, was the game changer. It was, the lesson in that is treat yourself like you would treat your favorite person in the world. Once that hit me and I changed plans, I did not go to Home Depot. I went to um, an Indian food place, Tarka. I got myself some food. You know, I got a big glass of water. And then I remember I went home and I went to bed. And that little act of not forcing myself to go do something that I didn't want to do and instead nourishing myself, it set me up. It just, it, it was me showing myself kindness and treating myself well. And ever since that day, that has been really the most important thing for me. Treating myself like I would treat my favorite person in the world. And for me, that does include hugging myself, which I do often. There's also the high five in the mirror technique. I did use that as well. Now I don't use it as much because I hug myself instead, but one great place to start is just giving yourself a high five in the mirror. No, you don't need to cut your mirror and make it dirty. Just high five yourself. You'll probably notice that you smile. Um, and it is scientifically proven that a high five in the mirror does, it does make you happier, give you, gives you more confidence, etc. And I actually had come across an amazing, an amazing podcast, which is on YouTube. So there's video as well. It's the Rich Roll podcast. And he interviews a woman who talks about the high five technique and really just her hitting a rock bottom and then coming back from that and now being extremely successful. And yeah, part of that is in the high five technique. And that's where I believe I first heard the lesson, treat yourself like you would treat your favorite person in the world. So today I challenge you to treat yourself like you would treat your favorite person in the world. I think some things that go along with that are, for example, one, if you're around people who are negative 
or who say negative things or who don't make you feel great, I do think that you should question spending time with them. For me, I did, I definitely had went through a phase where I did whittle down um, my friends because a lot of people I called my friends, I realized actually had a negative impact on me and were keeping me from growing. And hey, in order to grow, you need the right people around you. So I would say the people that surround you is really important. Um, you know, when you're not feeling good, if you are having a day when you just want to lay on the couch, not beating yourself up about it. That's another example. I had bought tickets to a concert so far in advance. I had been wanting to go for so long. The day came and I remember this was back when I was still grieving from the breakup. I just could not get off of my sofa to go to the concert. And there was this moment when I just said to myself and I just rubbed my shoulder and I said, hey, it's okay. If you can't go, you can't go. Sure, you might drive to Dallas tomorrow because the same concert is going to be in Dallas tomorrow. But if that's what you need to do, that's what you do. And just being kind to myself like that gave me the energy to get up and go to the concert that night. So I didn't have to drive to Dallas the next day. But, you know, just being that person for myself, being the person I need in tough times, whenever things aren't going well, I just lift myself up. Now imagine if that same scenario about the concert, laying on the couch, what if I told myself, you need to go, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're not going, you're so lazy, get up. It would have made me feel crappy and I bet I would not have ended up going. But being that I was kind to myself, you know, and showed myself the love and care that I needed in that moment, it got me up to the concert. And that concert, I ended up meeting a new friend who ended up kind of showing me this whole new world and who actually just started working with me yesterday at the company I work at. Yeah, think that's another moment when thing when life um, took a big leap for the better. So, which was rooted in being kind to myself. I guess what I'm saying is I have a lot of examples where I was kind to myself and I treated myself with love and respect and I lifted myself up. I was the person I needed and good things came from that. And I do feel like in recent times, I'm always attracting Attract. I think a lot of people are attracted to me and just not in the physical sense, but just in, oh, they want to chat with me and they want to be around me. And I think a lot of that is just due to me having such a good connection to myself. And if you have a good connection with yourself, you're likely going to be able to connect with others and you're going to treat others better as well. I do believe if you don't love yourself, it's hard to truly love other people or to treat them in the way that you would treat them if you did love yourself. So you guys, I'm going to leave you with that. Love yourself, treat yourself well, treat yourself like you would treat your favorite person in the world. If you're feeling stressed today, try giving yourself a little rub on the shoulder, give yourself a high five, tell yourself you're doing great. All the love to you all. Thank you for being here. Seriously, it really means a lot. Thank you for listening and have a stinking amazing day. Until next time, if there's anything you want to talk about, drop it in the comments. That will likely get me to make another video if I already know, oh, here's the topic. Love you guys. Bye.